my company, JT Marcom. Um, we lived in Nashville for 20 years. We're gone nine and we came back in November of last year. What brought us back was when the economy started to tank, both my husband John Taylor and myself began to receive calls from former clients. I don't want to hire my ad agency again. I don't want to hire my PR firm. Do you mind taking on this project on the side? We've been toying around with the idea for several years of when we retired, building an agency, an agency without walls, uh, where we go to the clients. We don't have the overhead of your, the traditional agency model. So as a result we, um, of the phone calls and the fact that John's 95-year-old father lives here, and our kids are gone, we thought, you know, this is a perfect time, perfect time within the economy for us to maybe go ahead and jump and make that move. Probably the best, best move that we've ever made. So we're home. Um, we have uh, many more clients than we started with in January, and it builds every day. Um, we started out traditional ad, uh, ad agency, um, public, public relations type work, but, but quickly found that the area of social media marketing was a very hot area that the people were very interested in. So as a result, we broke off and actually hired some people and, and we're doing a lot in that area. So what I'm going to try to cover today is a lot of information and I'm happy to provide you the PowerPoint afterward if you leave your card. Um, and we'll just be basically going over how you can use social media marketing to market yourself and to market your business. So first of all, is this a revolution? Yes. Web 1.0 was a one-way conversation. Basically, you had someone write the dialogue, give it to your webmaster, it went to the website, and then people out there in the internet found you. But a, a website is still important, but it's done differently these days. One of the things that we try to get our clients to do, the very first thing, is take a look at your existing website. How does it measure up? Uh, I'm going to tell you quickly about two tools that you can use. One is compete.com. It is free. You can go there and you can compare anything and you can see how you compare to your website compares to your competitors websites how um, Twitter <coughs> compares to Facebook compares to LinkedIn you name it you can you can compare it and this is a free site at least initially we ran um, we ran quickly one of your one of the people here I don't know if they're in the audience there you go uh, actually how many of these people out here uh, went out last night yeah. Coyote ugly? No? <laughs> like, no, it looks like it's kind of tired. We ran this website. It looked very, very good. It rated very high. Another website grader is websitegrader.com. It's a HubSpot product. That's how we ran your website. Your website uh, came up at 96.5%. That's a great score, but it wasn't perfect. It will tell you, and this is another free tool, it will tell you what you need to do. That you're missing some meta tags, that the um, page title is too long. Uh, it will tell you what you are missing. Uh, it's a great thing to do. I highly suggest that you go there, you run your website, and if it comes out the way you don't want it to come out, give us a call. <coughs> um, website do's and don'ts. We all know these. Um, Google ranks content. It's not necessarily how pretty, how flashy, it's the information that is provided on your website. You gotta know your market, know your visitors, know your product. Um, one of the things I did notice running some of the websites that you gentlemen have, and I know because of the industry you're in, is that the information um, was very technical, and a lot of it rated uh, PhD college level. Um, that's all well and good, but maybe some of the information needs to be put in lay language as well. Just a thought. Um, the mysteries of SEO. That's why I touched on web first of all. Uh, I noticed the group is doing paid searches. They're doing, um, and we'll take a look at that, organic or natural search. 
uh, Google algorithms are increasingly weighing on organic search, and that's really what I'm going to focus on today. Why? Because 78% of consumers trust peer recommendations and only 14% trust advertising. This is a Google page shot, and you can see everything that's highlighted in yellow and the things on the side are paid advertising. Um, if you can get away from that, do. Because I'll tell you one thing, consumers are getting smarter and smarter. They are going to the first one underneath the yellow box because they know that has that is a non-paid advertisement and it has risen through the ranks by various methods of providing good information. Um, a lot of people don't realize that um, you know that Google, of course, made their money with AdWords. AdWords is a wonderful product. However, there are many ways you can get your rankings up organically, and we're going to be talking about that. The number one way you can do that is using social media marketing or Web.20. Web.20 is a social media, social media is an umbrella term that defines all kinds of activities, technology, interaction, construction, words, pictures, videos, and audio. For all of you that went out last night, if you took pictures, if you took video, what uh, gets put on YouTube stays on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on Vivo, on Twitter, and everywhere else. Um, I suggest that one of the other things that you do is you Google your own name. And then you Google your company's name. You Google your own name, and uh, sometimes you might be surprised. We just had a client, very high-end uh, attorney, uh, had great LinkedIn profile, came up first. The second picture was him downing a beer at a fraternity party. So uh, we're working on getting that lower in the rankings. Also, Google your company's name with the word sucks. And not very pretty, but you will know if anyone's saying something negative about your company. You might want to say that about you, too, if you've done some things in the past that you're afraid may be coming high on the Internet. Um, as I said, Google, uh, Web 2.0 is a has changed how we get information, how we send out information. We are no longer in charge of our brand. Our customers are in charge of our brand. Bottom line is... Now, the webmaster contributes to the internet, your website, RSS feeds, the online social community, internet surfers. So what people say about you, you need to know. Uh, the social media revolution is about trust. It's a two-way conversation. If you cannot build trust with your clients and potential clients, you don't have anything. Why should you care? Well, Groundswell. I don't know if any of you heard of that book. It's a wonderful book if you have a chance. It's called Groundswell. And it talks about the social trends and technologies people are using today that, has, that is changing the way we fundament, fundamentally do business. Why now? Word of mouth has always been important. And now we have the technology to have that two-way conversation. This is a big one. Some companies are scared. Some are embracing it, but there will be no choice in the future. I would change that, is there is no choice now. It took 38 years to reach 50 million users. It took TV 13 years. It took the internet four years. It took Facebook nine months to add 100 million users. And I saw a stat this morning, it took, um, um, for the iPhone apps, nine months to download one billion apps. Things are moving quickly. By 210, Generation Y will outnumber baby boomers. 96% of Generation Y have joined social media networks. Social media has overtaken porn as the number one activity on the internet, which is big. One out of eight couples married last year met via social media. So maybe less porn, more interaction. 80% um, of companies use LinkedIn as a tool for recruitment and making sales connections. There are now 40 million LinkedIn users. How many people in here use LinkedIn? 
Okay.